The Cultural Wellness Center, a 25-year-old nonprofit agency serving the African-American community, has taken on the challenge of reimagining Dreamland on 38th Street. Elder Atum Azahir has been healing and spiritually the African-American community in Minneapolis for years. As the founder of the Cultural Wellness Center, this dream is her vision. 38th Street has become a place of pain. She sees it as a place of cultural healing. Anthony Taylor is one of her sons. When we looked back far enough at 38th and 4th, what we found was uh, an amazing human, um, his name is Anthony B. Cassius. And Mr. Cassius um, moved here from Oklahoma after the, you know, the demolishment of Black Wall Street. And what he did at 38th and 4th was he opened a business called Dreamland Cafe. He actually talks about opening Dreamland Cafe as a place where these young hotheads could come and conspire for the cost of a soda. Um, and he talks about the impact of the community of this safe space. 38th and 3rd is going to be world headquarters for the Cultural Wellness Center, um, but it also is going to be a place where, where the community will have access. I mean, you know, we have plans for approximately a 10,000 square foot building. What we're really doing, I think, is, is changing the narrative to one that actually acknowledges the history, the present, and the future simultaneously. Like that, that, that's the cultural wellness approach, you know what I mean? And I don't, I, don't, I don't want to take credit for that. That is really the cultural wellness philosophy. Dreamland on 38th was a real place once upon a time, and it can be again. If you dream, won't you join us? <laughs>